Welcome to Flora Noir Plants. Meet Mills Bay. So I got me an Ikea greenhouse cabinet. So I'm so excited. I got an Ikea greenhouse cabinet, as you can see here. This is the Mills Bow model, and she is my new bay. So of course I decided to name her Mills Bay. I can't wait to give you a tour of her, so let's just get right into it. Perfect. 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 So again, this is the IKEA Millsbo cabinet in white, and they have several models, but this is the one that I had to have. It is always out of stock and I checked their website and I saw they had one at the Ikea near me and I drove over there like a bat out of hell and had it in my car 20 minutes later. So here on the handles, I just added some pine contact paper for a little bit of extra zhuzh and detail. And I also added that same contact paper to the two glass panels in the back of the cabinet. And I chose pine because I have pine furniture in my bedroom and I really wanted everything to flow and match nicely. I decided to go with these corner diagonal shelves and I am so obsessed with them. I had them custom cut from plywood and they have several coats of paint to protect from the humidity. I got the idea from the girl behind the plants on her Instagram post. She had corner shelves in her mills bowl wide. And as soon as I saw that, I knew that's what I wanted for my cabinet. And it just turned out great. So let's get into the plants because that's why you really came, right? <laughs> so first is a philodendron burgundy princess. And then back tucked in the corner behind that is an alocasia black velvet that's getting ready to put out a third leaf for me. In the front here is a string of hearts, which was my Valentine's Day, babe, if you watch that video. I love how the strings just cascade down over the shelving and flowers. So the plant is super happy in here. So next we have this Hoya Australis Lisa and it just shot out her growth in the back like last week. So I'm going to have to move it because it doesn't fit on this shelf anymore. But I love it. It is so incredibly beautiful. But next to that is my Hoya Compacta Variegata and this may or may not be my fourth try at this plant. But it's growing. It's happy. This one's going to make it. I swear. And yes, in that corner is a fake plant from Ikea. I just thought with that fan and the thin shelf back there that it was too awkward for an actual plant to flourish, but perfect for a fake plant. So there we go. In the front is the philodendron micans, just a few cuttings that I have, and they're growing pretty quickly. The plant and the fan are hanging up with these metal hooks that are so strong. Like they barely budge. They work perfectly for this. So on the second shelf is a Calathea orbifolia. And this is actually um, the first Calathea I've had in a long time. And it's actually doing pretty well for me in this cabinet. It has such beautiful leaves. I can't wait for it to get huge. And tucked back there in that corner is the Philodendron Melanochrysum that we've hit a little bit of a snag. I think we had some watering issues, but I've repotted and we're gonna be all right. Next up is the star of the cabinet. This is my variegated Monstera. And I grew this from a node and every leaf has been half moon, which is just oh, such a pleasant surprise. I love this plant so much. So this is a gazelle that I got from Target several years ago and I just didn't have anywhere in my room to put it. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna put it in the cabinet. And I think they look great in here. I just hung them up with some extra screws and it worked perfectly. 
Next is a Hoarthia and this super cute little lady planter. And I'm not a huge succulent person, but I've been feeling the Hoarthia lately a lot. Now next to that is a Philodendron Squamiferum, which is like a Flora Noir plant, all time favorite. We love this plant and it is putting out a new leaf. So we're so excited to see that one pop out. Next to that in this Target Lady Planter is a Philodendron Mayoi. And this plant grows so fast, y'all. It is just taking over this side of the cabinet. And it's only been in there for like two weeks. And tucked back here in this corner, we have a straight off the struggle bus Monstera Stanleyana. But it's finally giving me a second leaf after a lot of trials and tribulations. Here hanging, we have a Monstera Silta Pecana, and this plant has literally doubled in size in the three weeks it's been in here. It is just loving the humidity that it's getting from being hung right above the humidifier. It's just loving its life in here. I'll come back to this humidifier in a little bit, but back there in that corner is a Monstera, too many damn syllables. I can't pronounce that. Um, pretty slow grower. And right here is Hoya Obscura with three new growth points. In front of that is a couple more lady planters with uh, a fine gold leaf sedum or sedum and another Hoarthia, but I'm not sure what kind it is. If you know, please let me know in the comments. But these are the whispering sisters of the cabinet. They're always gossiping about the other plant's business. In the back is a Hoya Abavada variegata and it's doing a whole bunch of nothing right now, but I hope it takes off in this cabinet. And next to that is my second variegated uh, Monstera. And it's a little one, but it has super cute patterns on the leaf. And I actually got this as a node at the same time as the one on the shelf above. And you can see how one just took off and one's just taking its time, but that's fine. Over here we have a Syngonium Chia Pence or Chia Pense. I'm not sure which one is right, but it's a super beautiful plant, super underrated. I don't hear people talking about this, so if you have the chance to get one, please do. You will not regret it. And one of my newer additions is this Hoya Linearis. And again, I just love how it's draping over the shelf and it's just been a week and it's already giving me a new growth. So. I think we're gonna be friends. And this is my variegated string of hearts, which has also put out a lot of new growth here. And now we're at the bottom and in the back corner is my variegated Syngonium, which has not given me a leaf in literally like three or four months. Syngonium whispers, please let me know what I need to be doing to this plant to help it thrive. In front of that is actually one of my OG plants is a variegated uh, alocasia. I love it. I love the patterns on this. I gave away the mother plant. I traded the mother plant last year and I will never do that again. This plant will be with me for life. And straight from my 2021 wish list is Antherium forgetii. Just that feeling when you get a wish list plant. Yes, I love her. She is absolutely beautiful. And behind that is my Elephant's Foot Codex, which was my January Bay. And it's also putting out a lot of vines in here. It was loving life in my garage greenhouse, but I think it loves it even more in here. And behind it, I put this propagation station to use as a trellis. And you can see it's already grabbing onto that. And I got this propagation station from a home and garden show like seven or eight years ago. So unfortunately, I don't have a link to where you can find one similar. If anyone knows, just let me know and I'll add it to the description box. Here's my ficus triangularis. 
and these can be these can be a little bit fussy and feisty but there is definitely a lot of new growth so she's happy I mean she's trying to get a little bit of browning too but then she's happy she's just moody she's all right she'll be fine and one of my newer acquisitions I'm not even going to try to pronounce that but it's in the Caladium family and a new leaf is about to come out if you can see back there so let's keep that new leaf energy for the whole 2021 all right So that is the whole gang in the cabinet. Now on top of the cabinet, we have just a few more. Uh, we have a Sansevieria Bantel Sensation, which was my number one wish list Sansevieria. It's so beautiful. I love the variegation. And here in another Target planter is a brain cactus, which like, it's perfect, right? Like what other plant could possibly go better in this planter? And here we have this huge, beautiful Scandapsis Exotica. And it's only a matter of time before it starts to cascade down the sides, which is exactly the vibe I'm going for. So now I'm gonna talk about the equipment that I used. And this is what I used for the light above the cabinet. And all the links will be down below in the description box. I chose this fan because it's sexy like that's it that's the whole reason I love the white design it is a big fan as you can see here it takes up space but it was just so cute had to have it and it's hung up there with those metal hooks that I mentioned earlier and it's super quiet like it's running all the time and I cannot hear it period I also have a second one in the bottom and again so quiet I can't hear it but it is big so I'm hoping to find a way to mount it somewhere at the bottom but for now it's chilling out with the plants so for lighting I chose these Barina T5 lights in yellow and I love them because they are so warm and inviting they just look like bright indirect sunlight so natural which was important to me because this is in my bedroom so I didn't want any cold harsh lighting so this is the humidifier I decided to go with and it is kind of small I do have to refill it a couple times a day but I chose it because it's a smart humidifier and it has an app that I use to control it and to control the stream as you can see here and it also has a light function which I admit it looks pretty cool at night as you can see um, so that was an added bonus and the stream could be strong or weak or you can turn it off all with your phone so that was super important to me I wanted to be able to control this entire cabinet with my phone and speaking of smart features the entire cabinet is powered with this Casa smart strip it's hard to see under there but I did find footage of me unboxing it so that's what it looks like um, it's amazing everything is controlled individually I was able to name everything as you can see there and I just picked the cabinet lights as an example but they're on a schedule they run for 12 hours from 8 30 to 8 30 and there's other functions uh, you can set it on a timer there is an away mode which I don't know what it does but it's there and um, all my devices are there and it's completely Alexa controlled Alexa turn off the lights Alexa turn on the lights oh that is baller and you know it so I forgot to record this part which is why I instantly have nails but I wanted to show y'all how I sealed the sides I was having trouble maintaining humidity levels until I went ahead and added seals to the doors on the side and in between the doors but I did not seal the top and the bottom just so we can have uh, some circulation a little bit of air movement within the cabinet and there is just one last thing I want to show y'all but this cabinet is right in front of my side of the bed where I lay my pea head at night 
and it is the first thing I see in the morning and the last thing I see at night before bed and it is just amazing. So that's it. Thank you for joining me on a tour of Mills Bay. I'm really pleased with how this came out. I didn't want this to just be a file cabinet for plants. I wanted this to be designed and styled and to complement the existing design in my room. And I think I achieved that. So let me know what you think of this video. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to follow us on Instagram where we will be having updates on the cabinet. And we also have giveaways and all types of exciting planty content that you don't want to miss. As always, thank you for coming to shine some light on our space. Salut. Peace out.